Guys, it is, uh, it is really great to talk with you today. I have a funny story. So I have a friend that lives here in Houston. His name is Sean Teal. <laughs> <laughs> My man. He I spells like it S-H-8. What's that? Well, there I got to come and see you guys win in, the, win in the Major League, man. It was a wonderful day. Dude, you got to take a picture with Sean. He spells it S-H-A-W-N-T-E-A-L. But when I saw your name and I was talking to you, I was like, okay, this is hilarious. Sean Teal. Um, guys, this movie, or not this movie, this series is just outstanding. The music, the performances. I love the storyline. Uh, Sean, we'll start with you. The question is, yeah. what drew you to this role and what do you like most about it? Um, what drew me to the role was, uh, besides the obvious things like the, 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 the roster of names that you would be lucky to keep company with, but, uh, it was, uh, it was the way that Ethan, um, the way that Ethan felt about the world, the way that he acted, the way that he carried himself as a person. I, I've always played, um, guys that have been under duress immensely. I've been fortunate enough to play, you know, people that were, you know, uh, persecuted superheroes or or spies behind enemy lines or whatever it is. And, and, and those parts are always fun, but this man was uh, soft and sweet and comfortable in his own skin, which uh, the comfort thing being signed that I wasn't very used to. And, um, and so that, that the, the very good natured sense of who Ethan was drew me to it. And what the show I most like about, it, I guess, is we were talking about it earlier, Colton, is the things that it impresses on you, it doesn't impress very aggressively. The, the show is incredibly diverse. Uh, it's very, uh, it's it's beautiful in its delivery of its uh, emotional storytelling, but it doesn't uh, say the diversity thing. For example, although it is a very diverse cast, it doesn't make a big song and dance about that. It's exactly how that should be. It's exactly how the world really is. And so, by not delivering on any of the things that matter to us, whether it's political or not, then there's nothing contrived about it. It's just honest and real and heartfelt and, and immensely soulful. Uh, and it just sort of beams off screen when you end up experiencing it. Hey, Colton, uh, I know you worked on Broadway. Uh, Dear Evan Hansen, great show, by the way. How great did your show. work on I, fant I love that show. Uh, how did your work on Broadway help with this role? Um, well, I mean, I'm from Kentucky. I'm, I'm living here now, uh, you know, certain circumstances. And, uh, I mean, I'll tell you, most pockets of this country, like, you know, you don't you don't grow up with a state of the art studio. You grow up with your local cultural center's production of of Mame. You know what I mean? So that's where I grew up. That was my bread and butter was doing musicals, and and music was my and is my life, um, and it's what drew me to the show actually so much. Um, and I guess the thing in terms of of how do they connect or how do they uh, how do they get me here? Um, I, I mean, I'm still, you know, pinching myself. I don't know. Um, I, I, I know. do know that uh, they're both just based in truth telling. They're just different size prosceniums. So um, I'll say uh, as a funny bit, one of the best days was Sean can attest to this. There was a line, and I think if you've seen the show, where we meet Louie and, and one of us had to say, oh, that's Dear Evan Hansen, right? Because he's cosplaying in the actual outfit. And it was Sean's line. And I went, okay, I don't make a fuss much, but I'm going to say this line. It has to be, <laughs> it's going to feel so terrible if, if someone else does it. And I'm just standing there like, so I, I mean, it's that, the most, my, my, probably my, uh, that was my insistence on, on the lineage of the two things being connected. Um, it would have come I'm across better if you didn't get your assistant to scream it instead, but there you go. What you, did you, you, what do you say? You got your assistant to tell me that uh, that you were taking my line. You didn't even say it yourself. <laughs> you didn't. Who's my assistant? You, you, well, oh, wow. You're not even going to admit how many assistants you have now. <laughs> He's being kind. I'm a tyrant. <laughs> I screamed the entire day. It was weeks and weeks of meetings. Thank you both so much for your time. I did see all the episodes I watched with my mom. Matter of fact, that dog behind me is the same dog they have, not the same one from the show, yes. but it's similar to the one they have in the record store episode right there. No, and, yeah, and look at the cool. axe. Look at the axe behind you. Yeah, oh, that's uh, signed by Maroon 5. And Switchfoot. Wow. And there you go. So, yeah. You guys, seriously, great job and great talking with you. I could spend hours with you all, but uh, seriously, fantastic. I was sharing for both of you guys, Ethan and Samuel. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Bye-bye.